Mark, technical writer with Avanti. This is video 2 of 5 in our video series demonstrating how to install our products on a combined application and database server. In this video, we'll complete the first task toward installing endpoint security, reviewing the requirements. If you'd prefer, you don't really need to watch this video, as this information is freely available in the endpoint security server installation guide, which we've linked to in the video description. However, this video touches on the most important points, and just watching the video should get you prepped. Reviewing the requirements itself is a multi-stage process. We've broken the requirements into three different categories. Part 1, choosing an installation server and configuring it for endpoint security. Part 2, endpoint security hardware and software requirements. And Part 3, the server address and user account info you'll need to complete endpoint security installation. First, we need to establish what server will host endpoint security. We recommend using a physical server rather than a virtual machine. We also recommend that you use a dedicated server. If you try to use a server that fulfills multiple roles, like hosting another website or maybe an email server, you're going to have a bad time. The server should fulfill a single role, Endpoint Security. Before you begin installing components, use Windows Update to install any service packs or patches available for your operating system. Make sure the Endpoint Security server is secure as possible. Make sure that your server meets hardware and software requirements. We're displaying the recommended requirements here, but the server install guide lists all acceptable requirements. One important call out here. Use a solid state drive on your target server. Endpoint security is disk intensive, so using a solid state can really improve performance. Next, you need to gather some information about your target server and organization. You'll need the name or IP address of your target server, which you'll need later during the install process. Your endpoint security serial number. We emailed you this number during your purchase, but if you don't have it, please contact Avanti Sales. If your organization has a firewall controlling traffic between your network and the internet, you'll need its name along with credentials that authenticate with the server. You'll need this info during installation, and later as well, because you'll need to open ports in the firewall to download patch content and antivirus definitions. Thanks for tuning in to video 2 of 5 on installing endpoint security on a combined application and database server. Video 3 of 5 will demo how to set up a database. We'll see you next time.